Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moros video. Today's video is going to be a Trader Joe's haul. I'm actually here right now. I'm about to go in, get some shopping done. I also have Scarlett and Harlow with me. They are in the back, so if you guys hear anything, some rustling, moving, whining, crying, you name it. You're bound to hear it from us. So I'm gonna do a haul of everything that I get today. I actually don't have a game plan. I kind of do a little bit. I asked you guys on my Instagram for some must-haves and recommendations. So I have somewhat of an idea, but per usual, most of the time I just go in and it's like, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. That would be a good dinner meal. The kids would love that. That's usually how I operate. I just want to give a huge thank you to Stash for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you guys don't know what Stash is, it is a investing app. So let me pull it up. Oh, we need my face ID. It is an investing app, which I am still new and learning a lot about investing because to be honest, I had minimal knowledge about it. But so far, Stash has made it really easy to invest and I've learned a lot. So that's why I first decided on Stash because they were very easy to use and I'll get to more of the details. But also, I have recently been interested in starting to invest, which is also really exciting, a little intimidating at the same time, but now I could invest in some of my favorite companies like Target and Amazon, and that's really exciting at the same time too. Stash is a personal finance app that makes investing easy and affordable for over six million Americans. Like I mentioned, I am new to investing. I am still learning a ton, but with Stash, they've simplified investing and made it easy and affordable for customers to build wealth and start achieving their goals. What I think is really awesome is that you don't need a ton of money to start investing. Thanks to their fractional shares, you're able to invest with $5 or less in the stocks for companies like Amazon, Apple, Tesla, and more. Also, when I signed up as a new Stash user and made a transaction, it can be as little as $1, which is what I deposited, and I got a $50 bonus for signing up. Harlow wanted to say hi really quick. You guys can also join the 6 million plus people that have already joined, and you guys can start investing in yourself. So I will leave that information, everything that you guys will need to know down below in the description. Check out Stash start investing. Like I said, it's so easy. You don't need a ton of money. You can already start investing in some of your favorite companies as well. And again, just want to say thank you so much to Stash for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Moving on, we are going to go into Trader Joe's, do a haul when we get home, get some tasty food, let the girls pick out some snacks. Ari has already sent me a list, so I'm going to show you guys all of that. So let's go ahead and get started. I got this boy in my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can't be And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough Think about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall So I just hurried and inhaled a Trader Joe's salad because I was starving. I did the one mistake that I told myself I would never do, but it always ends up happening anyways, and that's going grocery shopping while hungry. I was so hungry. You guys will probably see some extra stuff that I only got purely because it sounded delicious. I ate one of their salads. I love their salads so much. It was good. I think it's actually a new one. It's a mozzarella and tomato basil with balsamic vinaigrette. Chef's kiss. But let's go ahead and get into this haul and show you guys everything that I got. So everything is just kind of blended in together. Usually I try to organize it, but I literally just took it out of the bag. I want a time crunch because it takes 30 minutes to get home from Trader Joe's, so I wanna hurry and do this before some of the things, like the frozen stuff, gets too thawed out. So it's a little unorganized. Starting over here, I have been meaning or wanting to try these for so long. Every time I ask you guys what to get from Trader Joe's, I always at least have one person recommending this chicken soup dumpling. So I went ahead and got two, just in case I like them, but everybody recommends them, so I'm really excited to try them. It's a soup dumpling, so it's not an actual soup, 
soup, but it's filled with a rich and savory broth. So you guys can see right there. Don't those look amazing? They come with six dumplings. Like I said, I got two of those. I love Trader Joe's broccolini. It is so fresh. So they usually have them in the bags, which I don't know if this is more than I usually get, but I think they were out of it. So I got the organic baby broccoli instead. Guys, if you saute this with a little salt and pepper and olive oil, it is amazing makes the perfect side dish for any dinner and then i got some grape tomatoes i love to saute these or to put them in salads or to snack on them and then i haven't tried this yet usually i try the orange chicken which is what you guys always recommend and it is good i would say if you go to trader joe's you have to try their orange chicken but this time i wanted to try their barbecue teriyaki chicken it says marinated barbecue chopped dark chicken meat with authentic teriyaki sauce so i got two bags of those as well as two bags of their vegetable fried rice to go with this meal and I will say this is definitely a staple. If you guys go to Trader Joe's, you need to try their vegetable fried rice or their chicken fried rice. I just prefer the vegetable one. So I got this lemon rosemary chicken the last time we went and Frank and I loved it. A few of the kids I think loved it too. We put it in the air fryer. It was amazing. It is a whole chicken, has lemon, rosemary, all different kind of seasoning in there. It is delicious. Like I said, put this in the air fryer with some broccolini, maybe even some rice, whatever you want to do. It is so good. Frank and I were talking. I think we're going to try this or make this tonight. This is the carne asada. It's thinly sliced beef. It has like this marinade in it. So I think we're going to have this and make some tacos tonight. And then I did get some ground turkey to make with spaghetti squash. I'm going to make some spaghetti and I prefer ground turkey over ground beef. I also got some avocados. So Harlow saw peaches and wanted to get some peaches, so I got five of those. And then I asked them what fruit, Scarlett and Harlow, what fruit they wanted. They both said grapes, so I actually got a mixture. So I got some red, purple, and green grapes in there. Can't go to Trader Joe's without getting some hash browns. I'm pretty sure these are like the same thing as what McDonald's makes, but they are so good, especially in the air fryer. And then the kids really love mochi, so I got a strawberry one for them and also a vanilla. Picked up some animal crackers. This is actually a Fletcher's favorite. He loves animal crackers. They also have ones with letters, like an alphabet one, but they're like animal crackers, but I think they're cinnamon flavored. I was tempted to get them, but I didn't know if all the kids would like the cinnamon, so played it safe. Just got regular plain animal crackers. Got some green beans. These are also really good to just saute with some olive oil and salt and pepper. It's the French green beans, the Haricots Verts. Hope I'm saying that right. Extra fine. These are really good. Put a little garlic with them too. And then I haven't tried these yet either. These are chicken cilantro mini wontons. And it actually was really cool because on the back it gives you a dipping sauce recipe as well. So definitely gonna have to try that. And the kids, all the kids love the organic silver dollar pancakes. I got two boxes of those. Aria requested breakfast foods. So I got her these, and then I also got her an ICI bowl. I'll show you guys that here in a second, but that's what she requested. And she requested frozen fruit because she loves to make smoothies. You guys know I like these with my yogurt. So I got a berry medley, has blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries, and then I also got some mango chunks as well for her smoothies. I have been eyeing these Gone Bananas. They are dark chocolate covered banana slices. I've been eyeing these because they're like semi-healthy because of the banana and the dark chocolate, but these sound amazing. I am so excited to try those. I'll let you guys know if I like those or not. And then I got a couple can or jarred items. Everybody was telling me to try the cowboy caviar. It's corn, black bean, and pepper salsa. I always see recipes of people making this on TikTok. So it's not going to be fresh like those recipes, which I might in the future make my own, but I'm excited to try this one because a lot of people were saying that it's really good. And then this was actually with the new items. So Trader Joe's has like a whole shelf of new things or new products. I don't know how often they rotate it, but I always eye it just to see if there's anything that I like. So I got a couple items from that shelf. I got some organic pineapple chunks and then also these Buffalo style seasoned almonds. Frank loves almonds. Oh, ah! he loves almond and cashews. So I picked that out for him to see if he, if he would like that. And then I got some creamy tomato basil pasta sauce. You guys, this pasta sauce is so good. It is so good with pasta, but I mainly got it for my spaghetti squash. Try it with anything. 
it is delicious. And then these are Aria's favorite, rolled corn tortilla chips. They're kind of like Takis, but in my opinion, I think these are way better than Takis. So I got two of those. Harlow picked out some kettle cooked potato chips. What are these? These are potato chips. And actually this is a favorite of Nolan's. Nolan loves just plain potato chips, so I know he's gonna like this. Plus, has 50% less fat and sodium. Do you think that sounds good, bud? Yeah, but I wanna go to um, Jackson's house. Okay, <laughs> all right, go ahead. Um, just be back in a couple hours or before dinner. Okay. Um, a lot of you guys also requested me to get the crispy, crunchy crisp. These are pea and chickpea snacks. Actually, somebody requested this with this combo. So I knew I had to try this because I am a bruschetta fan. I love it so much. I will make it homemade myself. Oh, look who's calling me now. Hey, Aria. Hey. Hey, mommy. Yes. All right, so like I was saying, I love bruschetta. I've made it fresh. This is a bruschetta sauce. So somebody said to use the crispy, crunchy crisp. Yeah, crisp and dip it in there and it's a good combo. So I trust you guys. I'm gonna try it. I'm excited. And then this was also another request to get the avocado tzatziki dip. I'm really excited about this as well. Even though I don't really know what I would eat this with besides maybe the crisp too, or maybe carrots or veggies. I'm not 100% sure yet. And then I got a big carton of strawberries and Harlow saw these and wanted to try them. So they're kind of like, what are they called? Um, Pop tarts, but these are organic frosted toaster pastries. I think I've bought this before and Aria really liked these. I don't think Harlow and Scarlett have tried them yet, so I'm anxious to see if they will like them or not. And then Harlow wanted some baby bell cheese. She's already gotten into it. I think Frank took one as well. And then I probably shouldn't have gotten this because I already have two things of hummus in my fridge, but this sounded so good. One of my two favorite things, cilantro and jalapeno. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna try it. And then I already showed you guys my spaghetti squash. I've shown this on, I think, my Instagram, but maybe I'll do like a meals for, I don't know, we'll see. I'll, I wanna show you guys on here how I make my spaghetti squash. It's very easy, but it's really, really good and low carb and healthier. I also got some spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. I'll have this with like some sauteed veggies for lunch. I needed some more granola, so I'm gonna try this pecan, or is it pecan? How do you guys say it? I always say pecan, but I think majority of people say pecan, but pecan, praline, or praline <laughs> granola. And let's see, I got a papaya, which I don't know what makes a papaya ripe? I have never gotten a papaya before. I don't even know if it's ripe now. Do I need to let it sit out? You guys, please leave it in the comments down below because I have absolutely no idea. I love papaya. I wanted to try it, so I got one. I also got some chia seeds to go with my yogurt. And then I've also seen like this chia seed drink. It's called like an internal shower. If you guys are on TikTok, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I kind of want to try that. I'm always curious to try things. so. Maybe that's something I'll have to report back to you guys as well. And some bananas, another request from Harlow, organic chopped romaine lettuce for salads. And then the girls picked out this yogurt. So I think Scarlett, she picked out the strawberry and banana. And then Harlow picked out the blueberry and vanilla. Some flour or mini flour tortillas. I got this for dinner tonight for our carne asada tacos. I got this for Aria. It is a organic ICI bowl with strawberries, blueberries, bananas, granola, and dried coconut chips. Like I told you guys, she loves making smoothies. She likes making her own smoothie bowl, so I think she's gonna really like that. And then I got these mini carrots of many colors. And like I said, I will saute these, or like I like to saute uh, veggies, so sometimes I'll do this. Or no, actually I'll roast these or these would be good to dip in the hummus or that avocado tzatziki dip. And then I got some salads. I actually just ate one. I told you guys it was the mozzarella and tomato salad. This is what it looks like. It was so good. My friend that lives in the neighborhood, she also loves Trader Joe's salads as well. So I picked her up a few. I got her one of these as well, barbecue season white chicken salad, and then also a Mexican salad. And then I got her the Waldorf salad. This has grilled white chicken meat in it, apples, grapes, walnuts. It's really, really good. So I got myself one as well. Aria requested smoothies, so I got her a couple of these mango smoothies with 100% juice. A lot of you guys also recommended the green goddess dressing. It has lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic. So I'm excited to try this because I have heard a lot of great things. I'm gonna have to make a salad with this and the romaine lettuce. 
and some lemonade. That was a Harlow's request. And I think I only got a couple more things to show you guys. They had like this huge blow up pool when you first walk in. Like of course the first thing that you see besides all the flowers was these gummies and the girls were like, oh my gosh, even though I had already gotten them a treat before, but they wanted some of these gummies. So these are Scandinavian swimmers. It looks like they have like little life creatures. So there's like lobster and fish and seahorse in there. So this is something all the kids can enjoy. And then I think that's it. I already showed you guys the chia seeds. I think I got everything. I hope I showed you guys everything. I tried to be as detailed, but as fast as I can so I can hurry and put everything in the fridge and freezer. But I know you guys enjoy these hauls. I know it's super close to the one that I just did, the Walmart haul, but we needed to get some few things. A lot of the stuff from that haul was just snacks, so I needed other stuff. And then this haul is everything but snacks. Still got a few snacks. So I also wanted to mention that everything came to $2.69 but I'm going to say it was probably roughly around $250 for me, minus the salads that I got for my friends. So just wanted to show you guys and mention that really quick. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Stash. Again, I will leave all that information down below. If you guys have been interested or thinking about investing, give it a try. I'm telling you guys, you will not regret it. It was so easy to figure out, very affordable. I've also learned so much already. So thank you again, Stash, for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.